Hi, I'm Anthony Dawson. I'm the Foxfield Railway Museum Manager and we're here in the Foxfield Railway Museum to answer 20 questions. How many items are in the Foxfield collection and currently on show? About one and a half thousand individual items and approximately 100 are on show. What years do the displays cover? Everything from approximately 1790 right through to the 1960s. When did the museum first open? In 1982. What surprises people most when they visit? The size of the museum and particularly the size of the locomotives when you get to see them face-to-face, uh, -face, up close and personal. What missing item do you wish you had most? A Foxfield Railway coal wagon. How big would the building need to be to display all those items in the archive? Another 10 or 20 feet that way. If engines could talk, which would you most want to speak to in here and why? Number two, because she's had such a fascinating life as a mainline locomotive and a colliery locomotive and she's moved around quite a lot in preservation. How many volunteers are in the museum team currently? There are six of us, three of us full-time and a couple who can only do every other weekend. What stories do you tell in here? We tell the story of the Foxville Colliery the story of the railway, the Foxwood Railway that was built to serve it. We also tell in broader strokes the story of industrial railways and mainline passenger railways. What's the new certificate on the entrance door about? That's to show that we are members of the Association of Independence Museums. How can I donate to the museum? You can drop me an email through the Foxfield website and then it involves an awful lot of paperwork. How many engines in here are unique? The museum has two unique uh, locomotives. We've got number two, North Staffordshire Rail number two, and we also have Rom River, which was the first purpose-built standard gauge diesel locomotive ever. How do you stop these engines from rotting away? Through trying to maintain a stable environment, so not too hot, not too cold, not too wet, not too dry, and through a regular campaign of cleaning uh, each locomotive. Will any of these engines see action again? I honestly don't know. One of them is actually a runner and that's uh, Florence. Can you list all the engines in here? From the back we have Florence, number 11, Ironbridge, Henry Court, Moss Bay and number 2. What's the largest item in here that isn't rolling stock? It's probably a 6 foot diameter wheel pattern. What's the smallest item in here? A LMS railway waistcoat button. What's the most bizarre item in the archives? <laughs> set of false teeth. And what's going to change next? Probably Moss Bay, where we're going to do some interactives and present the cab so that visitors can step on the footplate and explore the controls in a safe manner. And how can people get in touch to help? They can visit the Foxville website, foxfieldrailway.co.uk, and they can also follow us on social media, including Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. So those have been 20 questions about the Foxwood Railway and the Foxwood Museum. But if you have any questions about the Foxwood Museum, any of our objects and what we're doing, it's over to you. Ask away. If you would like to volunteer at the Foxwood Railway or volunteer in the museum or even have something you would like to tell us or donate to the museum, do not hesitate to contact us through our website.